Hello, uh, yes, Nick Griffin's Reconquista. It arrived today. Firstly, I was very disappointed in the book. I was expecting this exciting book. Uh, I thought I was going to be captivated with reading page by page and, you know, glued to the book, but I wasn't. It was a bit of a damp squib. A chapter by Derek Holland. Christ, Derek Holland was a screwball in the 1980s and he's a screwball now. How could anyone take anything he says serious? Christ, I don't know. But anyway, Nick Griffin's talking about the West is going to collapse, economically collapse. Well, we don't know that. You produce a lot of facts and figures, well researched, I'm impressed. However, capitalism has a strange habit of just keeping things going no matter how bad they are. Look at Syria, Leon, Liberia, Sudan, Somalia. You know, they collapse every week, but they're still going. And I don't believe a technological nation in a technological age like Britain, Germany, France, wherever, could ever collapse. I just don't believe they could. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but none of us know. We can't assume. Never assume, as Bear Grill says. Right? Never assume. You know, you're saying the West is going to collapse. Well, I can't prove you wrong, and you can't prove me wrong. We don't know. Right? That's a good one, that. That's, you know, because you can't be challenged on it, because no one knows, but there's no reason to believe it's going to collapse. Right? Regardless... Who replaces us? Capitalism will keep them working. It'll keep it going. There'll be functionaries to run the state when not one displaces another. You know, but again, I don't know. You don't know. None of us know. It's assumption. Also, when it does collapse, the Wahhabi terrorists are going to slaughter us all and take our wives, our women as their sex slaves. Well, I'm sure they love to. But again, whether or not that happens, again, is assumption. You see, I believe ISIS is on its last legs now. And the serpent's about to be finally, uh, long overdue, but finally beheaded itself. And it'll crawl back to the shitholes it, it, you know, it fucking spawned from. So, again, we don't know. Will that be the death of it? Will the militancy die? I don't know. You don't know. None of us know. Right? But the powers that be, right, they can contain it. May not be able to stop it, but they will contain it. No matter how many atrocities happen, it will be contained till eventually it will be stopped. I'm sure it will be, but you're under this impression that as the demographics, as more Muslims come in, they're going to be more aggressive and pushing for more of this and pushing for more. Of you may be right, but then you may be wrong. I believe that the vast majority don't want to push for anything. They're getting it legally handed to them without a fight, aren't they? So why would they want all this trouble? Well, that's the nature of the beast, the you know, scorpion and the frog, I suppose. Maybe they can't help it, but all the same, none of us know. It's all assumption what you're saying. And finally, this is just totally and utterly wishful thinking. The nationalist minority instead of wasting its time fighting elections should educate one percent of the population childbearing age uh, to have children but not 1.1 child to have four or six right so they have more children they bring their children up with the same aims as to have more children that's a tall order isn't it to make sure all you know to uh, guarantee that uh, the next generation is going to think the same as the parents. Right? Come on, let's keep this going. They're going to have more children. So that 1% then becomes 4%, becomes 6%, and the next generation becomes 12%, and the third generation becomes 36%. And so we're on our way now of Reconquista. And like I'd previously said in other videos, I was mistaken. It's not Reconquista in a uh, force of arms way, like the old Spanish way, where they kicked the Moors out, right? It's Reconquista through War of the Cradle, having more children. It's not actual uh, fighting. I was wrong on that. And in fact, I think Griffin says in the book, we'd be slaughtered if it comes to that anyway, which we would. So, uh, he means the War of the Cradle in the true sense of the word. Have more kids and that'll be the Reconquista to take back all lands. That's a load of bollocks. That. I'm sorry, Nick, but it is. It's utter nonsense. This 1%, they have their four or six children. 
they bring them up then to continue with the uh, the Reconquista to have more children so we can take back our lands. Then the next generation, the third one, they do the same. Uh, this is fairy tale stuff. You see, what's happening now with young people in particular? Because I know I mix with real young people. I'm not in a nationalist goldfish bowl. There's that many choices and options now why they shouldn't have kids or get married. It's scary. And when they do get married, they'll end up arguing and splitting up. And you can't see your kids. There's so much against us. It really, it's not happening, Nick. We have to play with the uh, set of cards we've got now. Or we've had it, pack of cards, sorry. Or we've had it, right? And all this not fighting for election. You should get back here. We had a political party, namely the BNP, that could have challenged the status quo and the treacherous swine in Westminster as conditions worsened but you handed it over to the enemy so th this is just a cop out now that's what it is it's a cop out very disappointed with that book and very disappointed with you okay thank you